in this little hut in the woods lives a very unique and colorful woman. Sandra Ramos is lovingly known as the Purple Lady. I think it's, it's a really beautiful color. A visit to her home or even just a drive past confirms that. It's regal, it's passionate, it's royal, and it's vibrant, and I like it. There's her purple Volvo, purple lawn decorations with a purple bicycle. Even her fence is purple. So, why purple? Well, when my children were little, I bought a pair of purple sweatpants at the Salvation Army. And my children said, don't wear purple, especially if you wear it on Thursday, that means you're gay. But I don't care. I guess I was a rebel, so I started wearing purple. The neighbors mostly look at me sort of like I'm a celebrity. I mean, they're, they're all pretty nice to me. But it's Sandra's activism that really shines and transcends the colorful world she lives in. You see, more than 35 years ago, Sandra founded Strengthen Our Sisters, a shelter and supportive service program. It's for battered women and, and, and children and some single women. I raise funds. I do groups. You know, so a lot of people say I've helped them and, and they've changed and they've gotten stronger. As a spiritual person, she spends hours every day in prayer, venturing off alone into the woods to be connected with nature. On her way. I walk in the woods and I put out energy and say prayers for peace, for health, for you know, my children, for all the children in the world, for people that have passed on. How are you? Good. This is Sienna. For, you know, an end to greed, just I put out energy at each spot for the ancestors. I never put out energy for anybody, for anything unless it's right, you know. I love this tree, I love all the trees. People think it's strange to kiss trees, but I think it's, it's strange not to kiss trees. <laughs> when I'm walking in the woods, and a lot of people stop me, and they go, oh, do you live in the Purple House? And I go, what made you think that? Are you a detective? Like I talk to them sometimes, because I'm very interested in people. You know, I, I like to know about people, what they think and who they are. I find people interesting. Sandra is starting her own mermaid school to help women find their purpose. The mythical mermaid is a symbol of independence. They cherish freedom, refuse to be caged, and always follow their hearts. When you meet Sandra, you know that embodies her essence perfectly. I feel like I'm not doing enough. And whenever I say that, people go, oh, and they think I'm being modest, but I'm not modest, I'm a big show of. I am appreciative and you know, I'm, I'm glad, but I, I mean, I don't feel like I'm doing enough. My purpose, I, I believe, is to make the world a better place.